watch us. I'm ditching you to go fishing. I am uh, getting my kayak out for the first time this year and uh, hitting Bass Salt Lake. Gonna do a little bit of bass fishing. It's uh, pre spawn right now, so a couple of the fish are starting to get on beds, I've heard, but uh, wouldn't like, should be like great fishing right now, but uh, I'm still gonna, still gonna come out and see what I can do. Uh, hope to catch some fish and uh, get the, uh, the old kayak first of the year. Stay tuned. Okay, there we go. First cast of the day. Started the day off with my crazy car bass tube from Coffee Tubes. Anyone who fishes with me knows this is my go to for smallies. I love this tube. But, uh, I'm starting just like up from where I launched a little bit and then uh, later on I'm going to work my way down to the lagoons. But gotta keep working and uh, figure out where these fish are. I'm sure I'll get into them though. Here. It's been uh, this past two days. Yesterday was like the first like real warm day in the Okanagan here. Got up to like 26 yesterday, 28 I think. And uh, today is like bluebirds, a beautiful day out. There's a fish right there. There we go. Second cast. Little guy. Just a little one. Second cast. Little. Cast number two of the day, and uh, first smallie of the day. Good start, that's for sure. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the bite's on today. That's a little bass. Second small fish of the day. Second fish of the day. An upgrade. There's the last one. number two for the day. Okay, I just moved up to my third bass for the day. It's been about 10 minutes since that last one. And this is a downgrade. <laughs> okay, I went back to the tube and there's another nice bass a little smallie. And let's hope we get another. Okay. Just pulled the shore just because it's annoying fishing out of the kayak in the current. So I uh, got a snag. Good snag. Okay, I have a bull snake I'm trying to get on my kayak right now. <laughs> is this a bull or is it a rattler? It's the bull snake. Came right up and he tried getting right on my kayak. Okay, he's going ashore now. That is kind of cool. <laughs> Never had that happen before. Nice fish. A little smaller, it looks like. 
looks like. Right in the current. current on the tube. I haven't really strayed from this tube since it's been working so well. There we go. Oh, swallow. Hello? Yep. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, fishing's good. Fishing's good. Pardon me? Fishing's good. You can you can see all oh, the fish. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can you can see them all like it's just like perfect condition. Oh yeah. You're hitting their bed? No, I haven't even got in there. I'm oh, yeah? still in the mouth. I'm on on right now. You're still in the mouth. Of the lagoon. Really? Yeah. Oh, I hear that fish jumping. Yeah. I haven't really thrown a ton of large stuff though. Yeah. You just using like finesse stuff. Uh, GTZ outdoors. Right on. Yeah. Good to hear. <laughs> I commented on the one where you caught a trout out of the channel. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right on. Cool. Nice to be noticed. <laughs> Now that I'm in the spot that I was looking to be in today, just explain what I'm doing. So on this rod, I have football jig with the skirt and a little crawl on them. Um, so this is for targeting large mouth. So this one I'll be placed, or I'll be casting in uh, all the uh, structure. I'm just bouncing it. Uh, Bouncing it all in there, real close, and then uh, how I was catching fish over at the mouth of the lagoon there, um, I was running my tube, which I ran mostly today, and uh, that just mainly targets small mouth. You will get a large mouth on there, but uh, for going for large mouth, I, I like to use this craw really getting right in all the structure. My first fish actually fell in its bed. Mess around with it. It's a small leaf. Not a very big one either. Oh. 
I'm putting it. There she is. Oh. No big fish today, but uh, I was on the craw on her bed. She did not like that at all. Go make babies, little cutie. Oh, I miss bed fishing. Another, another. I'd say it's like it's weird because it's a, a late spring with you, but uh, I'd say next week there's a lot more fish on beds. When you can find like a big bed with a big bass on it, big largey. So once you find them, you pretty much guarantee the fish. It's just a matter of getting it in the right spot and finding something that's gonna really piss them off. I saw a bed. There's a fish on it. started using in the Okanagan about six years ago and I just have not stopped using it since and all throughout the Okanagan this is this is what I use for my Okanagan it is a, an amazing color for our water here um, as for the uh, spawners that I caught on I think I showed this earlier but I'll show it again so underneath my skirt here, I was running a craw, but uh, that seemed to piss them off pretty good. Those ones sitting on the beds, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Another another week should should fire up for sure, and then uh, get another video like a spawning video. Maybe I'll do one on how to fish beds properly, how to treat fish. Because those, those spawning fish, they're, they're nice to catch, but you also want to be very careful with them. But, uh, other than that, uh, this, uh, this marks our first GTG smallmouth video, I'm pretty sure.
we get out again sometime this week. There's corona going on while I'm doing this fishing, so hope we get a bunch of videos coming up soon. I have a bunch of film that I haven't been editing because I've been lazy and fishing so much, so yeah, hopefully I